Hi, welcome to our latest video. In this video, we're going to discuss how to install Linux Mint 15 from the live DVD. When you first boot the live DVD, you'll be taken into the, the live version of Linux Mint 15. Double click the icon on the left that says Install Linux Mint. Select your language from the install wizard and click on Continue. The second screen in the wizard will prompt you for the requirements for installing, uh, of which include the free space requirements. If you're using a laptop, they require that you have it plugged up to the power so you don't run out of power during the install. They also require that you have it connected to the network. That way you can download the updates and the, the language packs and things of, the, of that nature during the course of the installation. Click on continue. The next screen will give us what type of installation do you want to do. I'm using a blank virtual drive so I'm going to choose the first option to erase the disk and install Linux Mint. You can also choose to encrypt the Linux Mint install. You can also choose to use LVM or if you're setting up a dual boot, choose the something else option and manually set your partitions. The next screen here allows us to pick our time zone. I'm on the East Coast, so I'm going to select New York. Click on Continue. On this screen, we select our keyboard layout. If you have any experience with Ubuntu, this is an identical installer to the Ubuntu install. So of course on the next screen, we'll know that you set up your account. I'm just going to create a test account. So let's change the name of the computer to test-youtube. Just for kicks, leave test as username. Linux Mint likes lowercase usernames, so leave it as lowercase. Set your password. Here you can choose to log in automatically or require a password. You can also flag the box to allow them to encrypt your home folder during the install. Once finished, click on continue and the install will actually start. Now this is an identical slideshow to the Ubuntu installer. You can click through this and see the different features of Linux Mint, see what it has to offer, what applications it has out of the box that allow you to accomplish certain tasks. If you are curious as to what's going on behind the scenes of the install, you can also see that as well. You'll notice down at the bottom we have a little status bar that says copying the files. It's going to continue to copy the files from the install media until it's ready to install them. Then it'll go into an installing state and so on and so forth. But you can click that little drop down flag and see what's happening in the terminal behind the scenes. You can also hide that. Now I mentioned a few moments ago that the install is very similar if not almost identical to Ubuntu. Reason being Linux Mint is Ubuntu based. With that being said, uh, with recent releases, uh, especially with uh, Linux Mint 15. They also have a version that is the Debian edition. Now, the Debian edition is based on the Debian operating system, which is of course what Ubuntu is based off of. But it's based off the unstable branch of the Debian code. So there may be stability issues. So it's not exactly recommended for newcomers to Linux, but if you've been in Linux for a little while, it might be something fun to play with. As it is a rolling release, as updates push out, the updates get applied to the operating system and it's a, a fairly transparent thing. Other versions of Linux Mint include versions with other desktop environments. The version we are installing here is the Mate version with no codecs. Mate is a fork of the GNOME 2 project, the, the classic GNOME 2 that spun off when Unity was included with Ubuntu. Overall it's a pretty good desktop environment but if you like to mix it up and check out others you can install other desktop environments as well just like you can in, in Ubuntu or other Linux distributions. But if Mate is not your cup of tea, feel free to check out their website at linuxmint.com. You can also download Cinnamon, Mate, KDE, XFCE, as well as the Cinnamon and Mate versions without the codex. Uh, the reason being the codex are not included in those versions are for distribution purposes. A lot of times the codex are licensed. They have specific parts to them that are not open source. So by default you can download those distros without the support for those codecs. With that being said, you can install the codecs after installation of the operating system itself. We'll step through that in another video. But in the meantime, this, uh, this install will take just a little while. We're going to go ahead and just pause and we'll come right back as soon as we're prompted for our next, our next screen. All right. Once the install is done, you'll see this box prompting you to restart the machine. Go ahead and click on the restart button 
the machine will go ahead and start rebooting itself. At one point during the shutdown process of the reboot, you should be prompted to remove the live DVD from the computer. So go ahead and take that out and press any key to continue is, should be the option. It'll go ahead and reboot the machine. I'm using a VirtualBox machine so my process is just a little different. But once the machine comes back up, you'll be greeted with a login screen. This is the default login screen in Linux Mint 15. You can either click the user account on the left or you can just type the user name there and you'll be prompted for the password. So punch in the password, hit OK, and then we're greeted with the Linux Mint 15 codename Olivia desktop environment. As you can see we have a welcome box here. You can tick a flag to, to hide that next time you boot up. But for people who are new to Linux or even Linux Mint just in general, there are some nice help links here that take you to community forums, the websites, uh, other support forums, areas that you can help contribute if you're not a newcomer to Mint. And that's it. That's how you install Linux Mint 15. Um, in our upcoming videos we will cover the package managers that are included, some of the software that's included, how to add software, how to install the codecs, how to check out other features of Linux Mint, um, navigate through Mate 2 as we can see here, and uh, kind of check out the operating system in a little more detail. As always, thanks for watching. Feel free to check us out on all the social networking sites that are listed in the description below, and uh, be sure to tune in next time for our next video. Thanks and have a great day.